do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos cuboidal epithelium the name says it all now cells of cuboidal epithelium are one of the type of simple epithelium cells apart from squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium is also a simple epithelial cell or type of a simple epithelium now the cells in this region are basically rough they are cube shaped or somewhat look like a cube or a structure of a cube they are tall in nature also they are wide and they have got a centri placed nucleus now there is no presence of matrix like substance in them the cementing substance is little or almost negligible present in them they basically form the inner lining of your respiratory tract now respiratory tract along with your sweat glands your salivary glands as well as your thyroid glands the main important role of this type of cells is basically absorption and secretion now whenever they are present in respiratory tract or respiratory system you inhale air now this air is going to have mixture of oxygen and carbon dioxide along with that dust particles would be there pollutants might be there certain kind of bacteria might be there now this cells of cuboidal epithelium present in respiratory tract trap in dust particles also pollen grain substances at the nasal cavity only and they only allow certain pure air which is a combination of mixture of gases to allow and get get in and then further your air is subdivided into oxygen carbon dioxide in which oxygen is kept inside and carbon dioxide is thrown inside also whenever they are present at the thyroid gland or the salivary gland now inside salivary gland saliva releases an enzyme termed as amylase which helps to break down your starch also saliva can produce certain enzymes or substances that help to kill certain bacteria if they invade our buccal cavity not to a greater level but a little quantity salivary glands also consist of your receptor cells and the enzyme amylase is produced there so squamous epithelium present over there try to help it cuboidal epithelium now cuboidal epithelium is a type of a simple epithelial tissue apart from squamous epithelium now the basically the cells of this type of tissue are roughly cube shaped they are not exact cube but around roughly cube shape which are tall and also wide in origin and which have got a centrally placed nucleus in them there is hardly any presence of matrix or cementic substance but there is a present of basement membrane on which the cells are closely arranged and relax it lines the tract of your bronchioles or bronchi the end of your respiratory system remember trachea the windpipe is further divided into branches termed as bronchioles and bronchi those ones also your respiratory system starting from your windpipe or trachea consisting bronchioles and bronchi as well as alveoli may be covered with some amount of cuboidal epithelium now your sweat glands present at different regions of the body also have them 
thyroid glands or you simply say butterfly gland where the hormones T3 and T4 are produced consist of cuboidal cells, testes in males as well as seminiferous tubules in males and finally your pancreatic duct. Now pancreatic duct will carry in all the hormones or enzymes that were released by the pancreatic gland and some of hormones are enzymes are also given to stomach for the process of digestion. Now pancreatic duct is lined by series of cuboidal epithelium cells. Now cuboidal epithelium cells if in totality I can say it helps in absorption as well as secretion of various substances. Now this absorption can be in the region of respiratory tract and secretion could be in the region of your digestive glands or digestive regions. Students in this part of the chapter we did study about cuboidal epithelium cells. How do they function? What are their different characteristics? And what is their main function. I hope you all are very clear about this concept of cuboidal epithelium. Thank you.